some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, yesterday I received an email from Andre Sloan. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to go over and subscribe to his channel. But I've covered him in the past when he's exposed other frauditors for the freedom-hating tyrants that they are. And that's no different than when he exposed all the bozos on Impact Media the other day. But unfortunately, they were extremely butthurt and filed five privacy complaints against his channel. So these supposed First Amendment defenders get all butthurt and everything like that. And, well, try to silence somebody when they expose them. I mean, come on now. Uh, if you really believed in the First Amendment, you would have let Andre keep his video up. That way it'd give you guys more exposure and more subscribers because there are always idiots that will subscribe to these shithead channels. Now, as somebody who's been hit by multiple copyright strikes over and over again by idiots who don't believe in the First Amendment to begin with, I am going to repost Andre's video. That way we can all know what kind of dipshits these uh, Impact Media guys are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S-Show on the road, shall we? Well, hello, 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 everyone out there. How are all of you doing out there in YouTube land tonight? Well, welcome back to the channel for some more craziness in the world of frauditing. So I have had many, many requests to do a video on this group, and I have done hours upon hours of research on this trio of frauditards, and I've had some great, great help from a special person on Reddit who shall remain nameless so that they don't get harassed. But this trio is known for illegally videotaping at post offices and assaulting people who uh, dare to question what they're doing. Uh, this uh, takes place throughout San Diego County in California. That's right, I'm talking about the Rankins. Well, mostly Rankins. One of them has a different last name. Now, the leader of the group, Conrad Jack Rankin of Impact Media. Then we have Nick Rankin, who incidentally is not Conrad's son. He's uh, known as Simple Media. And I guess he changed his channel to Sheeple News Now or Sheeple Media or something like that. Uh, and he is a nephew, not a son. Though, you know, it may feel more like he's a son as Conrad has been raising him since a, you know, a very young age. And lastly, we have Alex Fulton of Lizard Media, another nephew, not a son. Again, it may feel a lot more like uh, that he's uh, a son because Conrad has raised him since a young age. Anyways, there is a lot to go over, ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize for this video being as long as it's going to be. So let's get right into this. Go on out into your kitchen or pantry, grab yourself a bag of popcorn, and pop it up. Sit back and relax for this really, really wild ride, because we're about to board the crazy train of frauditing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really don't even know where to start since there is so much information to give you. Um, I guess I can start with, I really blame the leader of this group, the oldest, uh, who is Impact Media, Conrad Jack Rankin. Uh, he's known as Uncle Jack, or I've heard him referred to as Papa Jack. But again, Rankin has been raising his sister's kids since they were very young. So I'm sure the relationship feels a little different from what it really actually is if he's raised them. So Papa Jack is leading these two young 20-somethings astray. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, both boys are of age, as I said. Maybe one day they'll do what Big West did and see the light and see that there's no uh, future within frauditing. But they have to make that decision for themselves and get rid of the bad influences, such as their criminal father. So Conrad Jack Rankins is not as transparent 
or upfront with his audience or his subscribers. So let's tell them a little bit about Conrad Rankin. I have never heard mention of Conrad's uh, felony conviction back in 1998 when he was convicted of theft and did 18 months in prison in Arizona. Remember those times, Conrad? Do you recognize this picture here, Conrad? Why are you hiding that fact from your viewers? But I do have to give you kudos for staying out of trouble for it looks like 24 years now, with no more arrests or convictions that I can find on you in the Southwest. So let's go into the next thing I found very interesting about Papa Jack and him wanting uh, transparency. Once I uh, had his name, I ran his name in info, and I had his address. I went to look at his house to see what it would look like. And guess what? Here you go right here, folks. Now, isn't this interesting? You know, frauditors tend to say there is no expectation of privacy in public and their house is in public, and yet they went to Google and asked them to obscure the image. Yeah, so much for the uh, frauditor mantra, there is no privacy in public. But you know what? They're all a bunch of lying scum bag hypocrites anyway, and that's all you can expect from them. But their fans seem to think that they are untouchable gods or something to that effect. But maybe one day they'll also see the light, but I really doubt that the majority of them will. This is how transparent these three want to be. They somehow got Google to blur out their home, well, which is used to be their home because now, uh, you know, a little birdie has told me that they have moved up uh, to Los Angeles. But I'm probably, uh, you know, they're probably leeching off of more family members up there instead of, you know, all four of them. Yeah, there's, a, there's another part of this family that's going to completely blow your people's minds. Anyway, there's four of them in the family who could all get legit jobs, pool their money together, and have a really nice place to live, and yada yada. But Andre, that would be too easy. And not to mention the fact that you would have a roommate situation right there. And I've already done that kind of thing myself, and, uh, well, uh, I wouldn't advise it. Especially since the uh, people involved would be uh, violent thugs. Now, maybe the reason they wanted their home blocked on Google is because their side yard looked like this at one time. Now, I don't know. I just think it's pretty hypocritical of someone uh, to not worry about photographs in public. You know, they're telling people don't worry about them taking photographs in public. But, oh no, not my house, though. <laughs> so typical of fraudulent behavior, though, right? So... I dug some more into Conrad's history, and seems like he likes to be uh, self-employed. And he likes to work outside. Now, there's nothing wrong with that or with the type of work he was doing. It's an honest day's job, and, uh, you know, you really can see the difference, you know, when you're, when you're done, when you complete your job. But, you know what, Rad, you know, I, I think I got, should be calling him Jack instead of Conrad, because I think he goes by Jack. Anyways... Uh, you know, but Jack, you have to get up out of bed and you have to go to work. You know, you have to go to the place on time and on the right day. Now, here's three written complaints on Conrad Rankin's business, as you can see. People are not at all happy um, about how he advertised his business. They didn't like that he wouldn't answer someone um, and uh, didn't like that they had paid him up front for services and only half of the job ended up getting done. Now, if I did those photos too fast, you feel free to stop and read the, the whole comment before you come back. But, well, then there is uh, where Jack's world got very, very, very weird, folks. No, I don't know. Now, before we continue on, I am not going to uh, put any pictures of any family members up here that are not involved with any of the actions that Impact Media has taken against the general public. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure the wife must be nice and all, but uh, why would you marry such a 
Well, monster. How they met, but Jack married Kylie Page, who in another world in the Philippines was a man. Yes, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. He was born a man. He was born John Red Porcincula. Uh, this transgender queen from the Philippines has actually helped him raise the three kids uh, from his sister, um, who they stayed with uh, Jack, um, and it looks like that's about from 10 years ago. So then it would seem Conrad and Kylie became swingers of some sorts and advertised on a website for quote-unquote friends. Then, you tell me what you think of this ad right here that Jack put on a website. They're looking for men to date his transgender wife. Now, were times tough back in 2017 and they needed some money? And this was really a prostitution ad? Eh, you guys let me know what you think of the ad. You know, maybe this was just a swingers ad for the two of them. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. You let me know what you think. Then, in January of this year, Conrad Jack Rankin created his business, Impact Media LLC. Yes, he's licensed it. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be uh, uh, incorporating the two uh, boys' channels, but the only one that is listed on the license is Impact Media, which is Jack's. Now, Jack describes his channel uh, on YouTube that watch as people get educated. How are they educating anyone when they're filming uh, exclusively at post offices where they're not supposed to be, wearing disguises that completely hides their identity, and try to explain? They don't try to explain anything. And then... They up and become physical and or I have even seen them OC spray quite a few people. Now, I mean, look at Conrad's shirt right here. It's in the saying that's on the front of it. I, if you don't want a sarcastic answer, don't ask a stupid question. Oh, yeah, that's really inviting to a person uh, that you're filming in the post office to start a conversation with you, uh, you know, about what you're doing, you dipshit. Now, Jack almost never becomes, if you watch these videos, he never becomes involved in the physical confrontations. And as a felon, he can't carry or use OC spray in California. That's why he just stands back. So let's get to the last thing that uh, Jack Rankin has been hiding from his audience and subscribers, and that is the fact that he's broke. He's 100% broke, folks. Despite claims that he's rich uh, and or retired, um, that they uh, like to claim in their videos, like this right here. You have jobs? No, we're retired. We don't need them anymore. This is just an absolute lie. When people challenge these three to get a job instead of standing around at a post office all day long and trying to trigger someone into a confrontation that will lead to a big incident that they can uh, videotape and then sell on YouTube. But yes, Rankin is broken and is or was living with relatives as they claimed on their form. Now, earlier this year, I discovered uh, that Conrad Jack Rankin and Kylie Page Rankin had filed for bankruptcy in March and that it was finalized in July. I shared that information with some people, and I believe it was the Lucid Lair Lucid Dream uh, that made a video about it saying uh, <laughs> he's nowhere near as rich as he claims. So anyways, so far as being rich or so well off that he's retired, that is complete bullshit, as you can see here, here with their filing for bankruptcy. I'm not going to go into the dollar amounts or how much they owed or, or what they believe um, as, I believe, just exposing the bankruptcy itself is going to be enough to show that he's a liar and a con man. And of course, if you're going to fraud a tard, you have to lie to do it. 
So the other two members of this group, of this trio, do not have quite the history that Jack does. But both are in their early 20s. I guess we just have to give them some time and maybe they'll, maybe they'll make up for it. Actually, I, honestly, I hope uh, both of them will learn from this recent arrest that they had and give up this Friday thing bullshit altogether or find a different way to do it so that you're not having violent confrontations every single time you go out to videotape. Like this right here. Now we all know how YouTube feels about uh, violence, and we've all seen the video over and over again. And Impact Media claims it's innocence, but you know what? They were the ones that started that whole thing. And uh, I hope that it, the uh, elderly gentleman that was involved in this sues the entire lot of them into extreme destitution. So all of Alex and Nick's uh, previous physical incidents uh, where they, you know, they've OC'd, so, uh, sprayed so many people and, you know, they've pushed people around and actually assaulted them, uh, you know, is all culminated into the uh, coup, uh, what do they call it, coup de trois, coup de, coup de gras, coup de gras, there we go. Um, it, did I say that right? Yeah, Andre, you pretty much said it uh, just about spot on right there. Anyways, about two weeks ago, they ganged up on an elderly black gentleman, as you saw in the video, along with their brain-dead friend, uh, Long Beach Observer, Ismael Alejandro. Uh, he's also known by the nickname Isa, Isa, uh, where they threw this elderly man to the ground, and then uh, the two boys... Uh, um, Nick and Alex punched and kicked this guy in the head. They went just too far this time, uh, emboldened because they've always been getting away with all of the other assaults that they've done in the past. Uh, their response was just not appropriate, folks. I mean, it, it, anyways, uh, it was not proportional uh, with a, you know, a three-on-one fight. And that's why all three were arrested this time. Oh, <laughs> while Jack... The leader stood back and uh, didn't do anything after he did all the instigating to start the, uh, the incident. Now, uh, Long Beach Observer Ismail did not like being exposed on the Internet. And uh, he uh, ended up, afterwards, he ended up deleting his uh, YouTube page immediately. He deleted his uh, TikTok channel immediately and even his Facebook page. So anyways, Jack has said that uh, they're going to take a break for a couple of weeks, which of course they are, you know, with the trio, or two of the uh, trio facing assault charges. God, I hope they are, they're felony charges, <laughs> just, just to really get them. Uh, anyways, uh, Conrad, or Jack, says they are going to come back with a different type of content in the future. Does that mean they're going to leave the post offices alone, which they never should have been at or allowed to be at in the first place? Or, you know, because case law shoots down their whole theory that post offices are public property and open to the freedom of expression that they were conducting at the post offices. Anyways, uh, so let's talk about Lizard Media, Alex, who uh, turned 23 years old just a couple of days ago on the 8th. Oops, did I give up his birthday? Oh, well. Anyways, Alex is the older of the two brothers. Uh, he ended up with Conrad somehow, and I'm told it had to do with his mother having some major issues uh, several years ago. Um, so And then she moved in with uh, uh, Jack, and then she, when she left, she ended up leaving um, Alex there with him. Now, Alex also claims he just wants to educate people, as you can see right here. Watch as people get educated about their rights. <laughs> as I said, the moron uh, Jack, 
how are you educating people when you're being sarcastic with them? Not truly explaining what you're doing, assaulting them, and even OC spraying them. Us, and I'm telling you to stop harassing me. Step you, the f why, back. Why are you yelling at Step me? Step the f back because you're harassing us. Step the f back. You're cussing at Step me. Step the f back because I'm allowed to. Step the f back. Step back. You're you're threat. I feel like you're threatening. Step back. Step back. I feel like I'm being. Step back. By being in his face, so I'm called. Hey, I'm called. Head, That's all right. I'm gonna call Mike over here. He was sitting right around the corner. Yeah, call him. I'm pressing charges on you. Call him. So Alex has had a little more contact with the police as he uh, has two vehicle and traffic tickets. Nothing major, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but add that along with his uh, arrest for assault uh, at the post office in the past couple weeks there. Uh, he's starting to um, he's starting his pedigree. Um, I'm not sure of the actual charge uh, that they got that day because I'm too cheap uh, to pay the $5 to the Los Angeles county uh, <laughs> that they want for me to see his uh, court records. I don't know. Maybe I should just cough up the money to see the actual charges and when their next court date will be. Now, with his young age, there just doesn't seem to be a lot of information out there on the young man at the moment who is 23. Now, the real information with the fraudulent was with the fraudulent leader uh, of the pack, Conrad Jack Rankin. All right, and lastly, we have the youngster of the group, the baby, Nick Red Rankin of Simple Media, which the channel is now gone and has been for a little while. Uh, apparently, at one point, Nick uh, changed the name of the channel to Sheeple News or Sheeple Media or some damn thing. But I can't find that channel anywhere on YouTube, and I'm told it's not there anymore. Now, Nick has always been a willing participant in all the activity uh, going on, including the assaults. So, I don't know why he deleted his channel. There was nothing I could find in Nick's background until his recent arrest for the gang assault at the post office. He seems to be squeaky clean. Now, many times in their videos, when things are becoming heated, uh, you have heard them lie and say that Nick is underage. While I can't show his whole birthday or YouTube, hateful bots will cancel the whole damn video. But... The truth is, Nick was born in So he's 20 years old, old enough to reap the punishment for what he sows. Now, Nick has done some traveling uh, to the Philippines. As you can see him here in a family photo with Kylie Rankin. Um, on Nick's Facebook page there, if I seem to recall, and I believe there was a photo of him uh, going to school over there. He was like sitting on sitting with a textbook or something. Um, I could be wrong, for I am an old man and I am on some medication. Anyhow, at one point it looks like Nick wanted to be a model. Here's a couple pictures from his Facebook page that look like photo uh, shoot style pictures. Who knows? But I think it's a much better option for him than being a fraudatar who's going to get arrested a bunch of times in his <laughs> frauditing career. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the craziness of the Rankins trio. Uh, it seems only the elder leader of the group has any real interesting history for us to shake our head in disappointment at. Now, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up icon to let me know you enjoyed the content. If you're not a member of this channel, please hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified of all the new content as it comes out in the future. 
thank you once again to Andre Sloan for making such a good expose video. You are an awesome content creator. And it's a shame that certain people are so buttered about uh, getting exposed like this that they send out privacy claims and everything like that when uh, they expose themselves by putting themselves out in public like this this for the, all the world to see their thuggery. Now, since they're so butthurt, I might as well go ahead and, well, not just send them a tube, not just send them a case, but send them a whole pallet of butthurt cream. And, of course, that much butthurt cream should last them ten generations between all of them. So enjoy the hemorrhoids while they last. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?